Hello everybody, welcome back to a super exciting episode where I'm gonna show you how to take willow trees of all sorts, turn them into cuttings like this, which will then grow into this and eventually turn into something like this that is only a couple of years old. That willow tree you just saw was a weeping willow that we propagated a couple of years ago and has been growing great. Believe it or not, we've actually cut several feet off of that tree this year. It was almost 12 feet tall and has been growing fantastically. These willow trees are so much fun to propagate and grow. You guys are going to love this episode. In this single episode, I'm gonna show you how to take the cuttings, how to prepare them for water, what they're gonna look like after they've been growing in water, and then how to pot them up and plant them in your yard. All in one video. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited for this. And the first step is going to be taking the cuttings. We've got a curly willow that we have to take cuttings from. So let's go and do that right now. We also propagated and grew this curly willow here in the yard. It's been growing for a couple of years now and we've got some perfect branches for taking cuttings off of. You wanna look for branches that are about the size of a pencil. So we're talking a quarter inch to a half inch diameter for these cuttings. Although I've taken cuttings that are three quarters to one inch, and those do just fine too. So if you have to deal with larger cuttings, go ahead and do it. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna grow anyways. And that's exactly what makes growing willows so much fun, is that they're so hard to kill and they also grow very fast. So if you've got some young ones around that wanna see the whole process of growing propagation, this is also a good tool to introduce them into gardening. All right, we've got our cutting here. The first thing that I'm going to do is take all of these branches that are shooting off to the sides and snip all of those off. I still wanna use this main branch for the cuttings up until the point where it's brand new growth that is less than a quarter inch. So I'm gonna to top this little bit off. And then I'm going to start down at the bottom with preparing these cuttings. What you've gotta do for your first cut is go right below a node. So the point where you start to see a leaf bud come out, go, at a, go maybe an eighth of an inch below that. Take your cut, just like that and then make your cuttings so they're anywhere between six to eight inches long and then cut about an inch above the very next node that you see on your plant. The reason why I cut an inch above that next node is I'm gonna be closer to this leaf node on our next cutting and then it also gives me some uh, handling space for that cutting and that willow in the future. So I'm gonna repeat this process with our two branches here. Again, very simply cutting right beneath a node and then about eight inches up, right beneath another node and about eight inches up, right beneath another node and I'm gonna cut this one in half too, right beneath a node. So that's one branch prepared and ready to be put into the water. The best time to take these cuttings is going to be in early, early spring. Try and get it so the plant is mostly dormant. Um, some people do take these depending on what sort of climate you're in. Um, they'll take these in fall and then plant them over winter. But in most places, you're gonna see great results um, with taking these cuttings in early spring. I personally have found better results that way. That way they've got a whole growing season anyways. The plant is gonna be well established as long as you take care of it correctly during the growing season. Um, these will do great. I'm just so excited to grow these again with you guys. Um, I made a couple of videos uh, a few years ago and um, uh, that's a, I've got a weeping willow tree and a curly willow 
and those all did fantastic. So I'm excited to kind of share a more in-depth process with you guys on how to take these cuttings. So there we've got our branches all set and ready. All these cuttings are prepped to go into water. Uh, one thing that we have to make sure when putting them in water and soil is just making sure that the bottom of your plant is you don't have it tipped upside down. So if you see these leaf buds coming out at all, they're going to be aiming up, obviously. So we want to organize them and lay them out so they're all facing the right way. And then we can place them in water. What happens when you get your willow trees in water is just like this. Uh, these cuttings I took uh, just over a week ago and they're starting to develop roots. You put them in a mason jar with two to three inches of water and let it sit by an outdoor window that's not getting a, too much direct sunlight but you want a lot of indirect sunlight. Your normal house temperature is fine. And let me pull one of these out that has some good roots on it. Again, these have only been sitting for just over a week. There, here's a good one. If you can see right there, we've got a tiny little root popping out. And another one, and another one. Just from sitting in that water for about a week. Today's video is kind of special because I'm able to show you the entire process from preparing your cuttings, getting them in your mason jar with water, what they're gonna look like after sitting in there to the point where you can plant them. Now you can plant these right away if you'd like to, but I always prefer to get these roots growing. So I am sure that they're gonna do well in the soil as long as I keep it well watered. Um, you can also keep these in the, so in the water for a long time. You can grow a ton of roots out of these things if you'd like to and then trim them down before you throw them in the soil. But generally about a week or two is what I would recommend for the best results. And that way you can get this thing in the soil so it can start establishing itself over the growing season. I'm also going to show you some cuttings that you guys can buy online. And this is a new willow tree that we're going to be growing. This is Salix purpurea. I um, don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is the type of willow tree that they use for basket weaving. Um, so I thought it would be really interesting to start growing this one. I got this from a seller, uh, CZ Grain, on Etsy. I will have a link in the description below. These cuttings came in gorgeous shape. Uh, I'm going to let them sit in water for again for a week or two. And... I, what I love the most about this seller that I figured I would definitely tell you guys about him, he gives such in-depth directions on how you guys can plant your cuttings at home. Uh, it it's, was very, very helpful for so many people in the review section. So um, a great thing, a great uh, resource for you guys. If you need to buy some cuttings, head over to CZ Grain on Etsy. I was so excited to get these so we can start our basket weaving willows. Uh, with that being said, one more thing I wanna show you guys before we pot these into soil. What we've gotta do is if you see any leaf buds down at the bottom there, we're just gonna rip those right off. Uh, discourage that growth. Anything on the bottom half of that plant um, up until we do the first few prunings as these things grow and I will document that and have several uh, follow-up videos on this process for that. But uh, first step before you put your cuttings that have been sitting in water into soil is pinching off any leaf buds that are coming out of there. You've got little leaf sets growing. That first half of that plant, take those right off. And from there, we can get our pots ready and plant these guys. I'm so excited. So we've got our pots. We've just filled these up with um, regular garden soil. Unfertilized, ready to go on your garden beds for your uh, flowers, vegetables. So it's just a generalized soil. You want to make sure that you don't fertilize these when starting them out. That may seem like you're encouraging more growth in the plant, 
but it's actually going to do more harm than good when dealing with these cuttings. So we've got our pot here and you can plant these right into the soil if you would like to. Um, just find a nice spot wherever you want them to grow as long as it's not going to get way too cold and um, you can plant them right there. So just dig a little hole. Um, we made a hole in our soil here and then we're just going to take our cutting. We made a hole too. Good job. Here, take this one. We're going to take our cutting and put it down into the soil. A good four inches. Usually I do about halfway with these cuttings. Tamping down the soil very lightly just to keep it in place. And there we have one of these ready to go. Push it down there. Good job. Stop it. Right there. Good. Okay. Now you Alright, there we have it. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm going to do a few more, get them lined up for you guys, and then show you our next step in taking care of these cuttings. Well, I know I'm going to get the question on the soil again. So I'll tell you exactly what this stuff is made out of. And um, that is uh, peat moss, sphagnum moss, um, a little bit of mulch, and then some organic compost. That's what's in this soil mix specifically. It's by Kellogg's. Um, so it's a Kellogg organic soil mix. You can find it at a bunch of different stores. Um, almost every place sells it around here. It really doesn't matter as much as long as you kind of want to get a soil mix that is going to retain this water well. So something that does have a lot of peat moss or uh, bits of wood chips in it, stuff like that does help out. But another thing that you can do if you are planting it in the soil or even in these pots like this, um, if you're worried about it retaining moisture, is you can add in a thick layer of mulch around the top. No, you don't want to mound it up over your cutting, uh, but just add in a good inch or so of mulch on top of your soil. And that's going to help it out with that, um, that moisture retention. Because one of the quickest ways to kill these cuttings is by underwatering it. If these roots dry out at all, then your chances of killing your plant are actually pretty high. You really can't overwater the plants, just like it says in the directions from CZ Grain. You can't overwater them. They can grow right into water. Um, yes, maybe it is possible that you could overwater them, but it is very, very, very unlikely. If you water these things several times a day, every single day, they're probably not going to see any harm from it as long as you have drainage holes. But what will kill your plants is underwatering it. Now that we've got these all potted up or in the soil, depending on how you do this, the very next step is going to be watering. We've got to water these starting off on day one. Thoroughly soak your soil. I cannot express that enough. Whether or not you have it in a pot or in the ground, you want to make sure that you soak that soil really well right off the bat when you get these cuttings in there. And then you're going to continue watering every single day for two weeks. Keep these things wet and don't you worry about overwatering them because it's probably not going to happen. After you've passed that two week period where you've been watering these cuttings every single day, you can lower your watering frequency. I'm not saying water it once every two weeks or once every week, but once every couple of days should be suffice making sure that you are still keeping that soil moderately wet. You still don't want these things to dry out for several months, otherwise you could really, really damage that root system. So make sure you keep up with a nice watering schedule with these things for a few months until they are very well established in either your pots or your soil. If you do have them in pots like this, you're going to have to water them more frequently 
because a lot more water is going to evaporate out of the pot. I've said it a million times, make sure that soil does not get too dry. So let's get to watering these things and then I'll tell you a little bit about where I'll be growing them. Can't forget about our other cuttings. Got to get those in water right away too. Again, this is a curly willow and then this is a basket weaving willow or Salix purpurea. Um, very excited to grow more of both of those. I just love growing willow, it's so much fun. All right, time to water. We're inside the greenhouse here, and this is where we're going to be growing these cuttings. You don't need a greenhouse to grow your cuttings, but if you do plant them somewhere out in your yard, make sure that they're not being exposed to extreme bright sunlight during the day. You want to put them in a partially shaded area because if these tender little cuttings get too much sunlight, they're apt to dry out and die. So again, that's our that's our big enemy. The big evil of these cuttings is um, dryness. If these things dry out, um, uh, good luck bringing them back again. It is possible, but you really want to avoid that. So give them lots of water and partial shade when starting them out like this. If you are growing them outside in the soil, not in pots, so you can't move them, and it's not possible to get any shade on them, then really just make sure you keep up on watering for those first couple of months of their growth to make sure that they don't dry out and all of your hard work is put to waste. We've got our curly willows propagating, we've got our potted up weeping willows growing, and then our brand new Salix purpurea or uh, basket weaving willow. Those are going to be put in pots before you know it as well. So excited to continue documenting the amazing growth that these plants are going to have. I hope you guys learned a little bit from today's episode and possibly got a little bit of entertainment out of it as well. Please consider hitting that subscribe button if you've enjoyed this video. I would appreciate it so, so much and hit that bell button so you'll be notified of when we come out with these upcoming videos on the progress for all of our willows. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.